What is up, Latin Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. We are actually headed to Mako right now. Yes, Mako. Everybody has kind of mixed opinions on the matter, like don't go to Mako. And then you got all these other guys that say go to Mako. I'll tell you right now, from my experience, from what I've seen from other people, like for example, Jacob from Pusher, his truck, He's got a thousand dollar makeup paint job on it and the thing looks like glass, like it looks awesome. There's a handful of other people I know, they've had their trucks done by them too and they're like, like literally for the money, you cannot beat that hands down. Most places won't even look at your truck for less than four grand. Like unless you pull out four grand, they won't even take your truck back to the booth to even consider doing a paint job on it, you know, like a full paint job. You can say whatever you want, but in all reality, it doesn't necessarily mean anything when it comes to the, the quality, the longevity, and the value, which is the biggest part. It's the value, what you're paying and what you're getting. But also re realize that when you pay $1,000 or you pay $2,000, you have to understand you're not paying for a $10,000 paint job. So just think about all aspects, price, value and quality. So just think about all those things before anybody goes jumping to any kind of conclusions. But we're gonna get to Mako and uh, see what they're gonna quote me on the dually. Man, just get yourself another look at these anthem wheels. So mint. Okay, first thing I wanna say is the fact that these right here are the old wheels off of the nasty red, the fuels. Uh, and uh, let me tell you right now, I way prefer those Anthem wheels on that truck, hands down, over these Fuel Mavericks, hands down, without a question. Um, however, it just works out to where now we can put those because I prefer the Anthems, but these wheels will still do. For the time being, we're gonna put the fuels because they're gonna be the wheel size and width that I want, even though they're not the exact wheel that I want. Um, they're still gonna give the stance that I want on this truck, so when we get the leveling kit put on and we get the new tires in just a handful of days here, um, we can put these wheels and the new tires on this truck. Everybody's asking, what are you gonna do with the fuels? What are you gonna do with the fuels? But they're gonna go on the giveaway truck. I thought I had said that in the video, but maybe um, some people missed it. By the way, I'm repping the uh, Anthem merch that they sent in for me, which is absolutely comfortable as I'll get out. But anyways, I went to Mako and basically got a quick quote on the truck. A couple of things. First off, they said they won't even take it unless it is at least this shop, this particular guy, he's like, he won't take it unless the thing's already been prepped. In terms of the clear coat, he said, because the clear coat of my truck is fading pretty bad, like it's pretty bad and flaky and chip. He's like, uh, he's like, the problem is, he's like that, if I do it, it's gonna be $200 a panel just to get that off down to bare metal. He's like, if you can find somebody else that specializes in prepping paint and stuff, he's like, they might be able to do it for a little cheaper. He's like, you might be able to get the whole cab done for maybe five, 600 bucks. But he's like, if I do it, it's gonna be $200 a panel. He's like, cause you know, that's gonna take me just as long as it would take me to paint, you know, 10, 12 cars. He's like, so I'm just losing out ton, thousands of dollars if I, if I have that tank, you know, sitting in my shop trying to prep that thing, you know, for a week. So um, he's like, so what I would recommend is taking it to a guy who's gonna prep it, basically like get it down to bare metal. He's like, and then if you bring it here, He's like, for a single stage paint job, he's like, you're looking at between a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks. He's like, and that's probably the cheapest you're gonna find anywhere. If anybody happens to know a guy, somewhere not too crazy far from Fort Wayne, Indiana, I need to have my truck. He's, I think he said it needs to be sandblasted. You, what you wanna tell them is that you need it sandblasted for refinishing purposes. So he said, if you can find a guy that'll do it, He's like, basically your whole cab needs sandblasted for refinishing purposes. So that's where we're at with the paint job. But he said that once it is prepped, it's gonna probably cost me a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks, which isn't too bad. You know, that's really, really not that bad for a good paint job. Get on with a couple of things on Big Stinky. I wanna say a couple of things. I mean, a set of shocks. I gotta put some shocks on this truck. I think we've got them sitting over here. So we've got actually a couple of items here, and I wanted to try to install a couple things today. Headlights, if I can, to get some nice, high-quality LEDs in there. And the second thing being. The set of rear shocks for this truck. The rear shock of choice for this truck is gonna be Bill Stains because, you know, if this is gonna be on somebody else's truck, I wanna make sure they've got the best of the best under there. So we're gonna throw on some Bill Stains for a working man's truck. That's what you wanna have. And then of course we have the front Bill Stains, which we're not gonna go in until we install this bad boy, which is the front leveling kit. And I don't know if it really matters too much, but we've always preferred to go with the Supreme Suspension leveling spacers. Um, I will leave a link down in the description below to this kit. This is not a sponsored item, just so we have that cleared up. But this is always what we tend to go with, so I will definitely leave a link in the description below. If you're going to take a look under here, I can show you the 
current set of shocks that are on this truck. There are the current ones. Nice and rusted around, falling apart. So we're gonna get to swapping those out right now. Just got done installing the rear shock absorbers and the new headlights from Nao, by the way. For the light sponsorship, you guys absolutely rock. Every time I need headlights now, they are the people I go to. The quick detach, you know, neck that is around the light itself that I kind of showed in the clip there. This makes so much more sense than some of the other ones I've had. I'm not gonna name brands just to put anybody else down, but I've had a few other brands where you literally have to take a screwdriver and unscrew little tiny screws that were that stripped out basically as soon as you used them the first time to try to take off that piece so you could slide that retainer over and then you have to try to use those itty bitty screws that were like you, I mean you could literally hardly see them they're so small and then try to put them back in to hold that retainer so that you could rotate that on to connect it up to the back of a second gen headlight if you guys have a second gen and you guys have done headlights you guys know what I'm talking about pain in the butt so ever since then this company came up to me and I was like I'll try your headlights and ever since then I've been like yeah that's my go-to so very freaking bright. Oh my gosh. These are model 9004 um, headlights. These are all I use now. So if you guys are looking for a good set of headlights for a second gen, as you guys saw, I did not even have to take my headlights out of the truck. Uh, it was very, very easy to get in there, even with the room that there was, just reaching right in there. No problem at all. Link in description. Definitely go check them out if you have a second gen. Very easy job, of course. There they are. Bill stain. That's all we use is Bilsteins. I've used some cheaper ones before and they rode like crap. Like I always would recommend use Bilstein. The links to these are of course in the description below. If you guys are wanting to go check them out, order a full set for yourself. Full set link in the description if you guys have a second gen. More particularly, 94 to 2002, 2500 to 3500. It needs new shocks. There's a link to get a full set of these in the description below, which is exactly where I ordered mine off Amazon. But when it is weather like this, you know, spring, summer, fall, whatever, I always have this shirt on over top of my nice clothing, my nice t-shirts, because this shop shirt, these shop shirts are designed for oil, grease, I mean, just dust, dirt. They're automotive industrial shop shirts. These are heavy duty shop shirts. That's what they're for. And that's why they're a little bit more premium price, but they are tough holding up shirt. They're not like a typical dress shirt, you know? So if you're working on stuff all day long, you're not gonna have to worry about tearing these things or ripping holes in them, stuff like that. Like they are, they are tough as nails shirts. And I'm trying to find a way to make them available for the giveaway 12 valve, which I'm gonna get into more detail on that. I'm gonna try to make these available for the giveaway. Only thing I cannot promise you is that there's gonna be names, your name on every single shirt. The reason for that is, for a giveaway like this, like typically when I've done shop shirt sales in the past, it has taken usually one month. By the time you order a shop shirt and get it, it's typically one full month, which sucks, you know? Like if I was ordering something that was a $50 you know, shirt, I wouldn't want to wait a month to get the shirt in. And it's not like a month because it's just, oh, we just have them sitting in our house, we just don't want to ship them out. That's not why it's take, it took so long. The reason is because of these patches with your name on them. These patches, I have to order them. They're all customized and they come from far away, you know what I mean? Uh, Some place that'll actually do them for, you know, still like five, six bucks per patch, every single patch. So like, just these two patches, 
that's 10 to $12 right there just for the patches on this shirt. So that's why you guys can understand why these shirts are so expensive. Between the heavy duty shirt cost, those patches, the time that goes into them, my mom had to hand sew all these on. It's a lot of time and a lot of hours go into these things, but it's personalized. That's what makes it cool. However, like I said, for the giveaway, I just don't know if we're gonna be able to do the name patches, but what we can do is ship them out like this with just a loud and proud patch or a team, it'll say team, loud and proud, patch on this side, but then the other side we can leave it open so if you guys are wanting to go to your local embroidery shop or you guys just wanna get on Amazon and order a patch for you know five, six bucks, you guys can do that. But then you guys will actually see how long it takes to get these patches in. Even if you just order a couple, it takes forever. Especially when I'm ordering, you know, like the last sale we did, we sold 50 shop shirts in like a couple days. That was a lot of patches to order. And I mean, do the math, that's an expensive order of patches and it, yeah, it took forever to get them in the t-shirt. I mean, the shirts were in in like two days. I'm like, oh sweet, shirts are here. And patches took three weeks after that. And then by the time we get them, mom's got like three days. She she sews the crap out of all these things and I you know, package them all up as she's going and we get them shipped out. It takes a lot of time and it's just not a good turnaround. But if it's just this patch and the shirt, I can actually have them ordered and have them done like that now. It's still more expensive. It's like six bucks more just to have a patch put on there. But I would put Team Loud and Proud patch on there and do a huge order of those for you guys to be able to purchase, you know, Team Loud and Proud shop shirts because they are they're nice shirts. If you guys would still be interested in that, let me know. But anyways, giveaway stuff. Let's stop talking about the shirts. The giveaway, guys have been talking about the giveaway all the time in the comments. How do I enter? How do I win? If I win, what? how am I gonna get the truck? And like all kinds of stuff. The giveaway is gonna be two trucks. This black 12 valve this 97, and another 12 valve that is a five-speed manual. There's gonna be two trucks, one person's going to be drawn to be a winner. I'm not gonna do the drawing, a third party's gonna do the drawing, somebody that doesn't know me, doesn't know anybody that's doing the giveaway, that type of deal. The goal is to start the giveaway June 1st, and when I say start the giveaway, I mean June 1st, give or take, on or around June 1st, which is the goal, to start taking orders on merch, which will count them towards winning a giveaway truck. The way it's gonna be set up is gonna be every $20 you spend, every $20, so not like if you have to order separate $20 orders, but if you spend $100, you get five entries, you spend $200, you get 10 entries, you spend $500, you get 25 entries, you guys get the whole deal, you guys know how that works. The way you enter is you'd buy, let's say, a shop shirt, let's say you buy a t-shirt, you buy a hoodie, or you buy a lot of stuff, who knows, or you just buy one item. If you spend $20 or more, you count towards being put into the drawing, and then every $20 you spend on top of that, of course, obviously, it's just going to get you another entry, another entry, another entry into the drawing. When you win, we will sort that out with you privately, and then we will figure out what's the best option for you to get your truck. So that's how it's gonna work. We will nail it down, you will get your truck. I mean, that's all I can tell you is if you win, you'll get your truck. He said, I need the truck sandblasted, I guess. So if there's anybody out there that does that, please get a hold of me. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.